Hey guys, Magnus Robber here, bringing you another video. This one we're going to be doing a video, again, doing my things I want to see in the Simpsons Tapped Out. Again, this got pushed back to a Friday, so maybe this is just going to be a Friday thing and not a Wednesday thing. <clears throat> I mean, I'm going to try and get it done for um, for uh, Wednesday, but to be honest, Friday seems like the easiest day for me to do this, so it might just get pushed back to Friday. But basically, these videos will be either every Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. They'll be on one or three of those days. Um... Probably usually it's either Wednesday or Friday. So if it's not released on the Wednesday, it's probably going to be released on the Friday. Kind of busy on Thursdays. I don't really get much time. So um, yeah, uh, my lecture got cancelled today, so I got to do this early. So first of all, we're going to have a look at my ideas, and then we, we're going to have two ideas. We're going to look at it's kind of like an itchy and scratchy theme today. I've just kind of thrown together a few itchy and scratchy uh, people who suggested like itchy and scratchy related things. Uh, so yeah. So first of all, my ideas. Uh, so, for my first idea is Alice Glick, um, really, really cool character, I definitely think that they should add her into the game permanently, uh, she's like kind of one of those big ones, uh, uh, I say big one, but like she is a reason, really, I would say she's at least a C-level character, and you know, she's appeared multiple times in the background, but she's not been added, of course she is now dead in the show, they killed her off um, in one of the latest seasons, um, no, she's been dead for a few years, uh, like on the show anyway. Uh, but yeah, a really really cool character, and I definitely think that they should add her. She's kind of like this kind of batty old lady. That's all she really is. Um, and you know, they could definitely do some interesting, witty kind of uh, storyline with her. Um, and so the costume is uh, multiple costumes. I've kind of put more than one, and that's the Dependables. I've talked about this before, uh, and it was like a brief thing at the end of the end of the um, episode, the Fruit Batman episode, and it was just like a brief kind of thing at the end. And it what they didn't really do much with it, but I still think. I really do believe when, when they like add tapped out exclusive stuff like that's one thing but what I would really like them to do is take something like this that was just a kind of a short skit and expand on it and I really want them to do uh, like another kind of just a week a week long superheroes thing I'd like to do I like I like them to do that annually return all the old superhero stuff and give us something new every every year <clears throat> and um, maybe one year they could give us a, a dependables pack which will be 100 100 donuts or something like that and you get four costumes in it um and then for people who don't have fruit batman you can get the fruit one with fruit batman in it maybe for 120 donuts or something like that um <clears throat> so basically you get sort of a bunch of costumes and this includes the hot flash for alex Glick. So of course alex Glick would have to be added into the game before that I mean, even she could be added in the game um uh, with this update, that would be a really cool way to add a click. A bit of an unusual way, but a way I, I wouldn't mind them doing that if they were to do like a superhero swing and they added Alice Click. Uh, this is, um, oh, I forgot his name now, but um, obviously it's Jasper's one. Uh, we've got Iron Lung, which is my own man. Uh, this would be, I guess, a difficult one for them to do, but it could just be him in the little bed and it just wheels around the town and that's his costume and I, w I would want it to be a costume and not like a separate character uh, and then of course um the one for grandpa as well so everyone has a costume uh, we have the and then they do this storyline with the dependables uh, them saving people they could even add uh, the abdominable dr lenny who again was a very brief character a short sort of a blink and you miss a character to be honest but i think if they were to add him <clears throat> and i know you were, you were kind of against adding blink blink and you miss it's but they could add him anyway and they could do like a storyline maybe have him for free and then do like a storyline with the dependables i think that would be really really cool um the building is just a bit of a random one this is the big t building i just think this is just, again just one of those kind of funny buildings that um <laughs> just just been shown in the simpsons and i definitely think they could add it and uh, it would be kind of a cool to see it it's one of those ones it's just unusual it's just a big unusual building and i would like to see it in the game um so yeah that's the big t building uh, and then the, f uh, the thing the bonus thing that uh, i'll be showing you today is actually a game feature and i've talked about this multiple times but it's a search bar feature so i want to elaborate on this so basically what i mean by a search bar feature is when of course you're looking to buy a certain decoration or you're looking in your inventory um <clears throat> it's really tedious to kind of just like you know scroll through all the items and it is really annoying what i'm proposing is a search bar feature so there'll be a little search bar you tap it it brings up your keypad on your ipad or your tablet or whatever um, or your phone uh, and you just type in like what you want search for it i think the, obviously they'd have to add that as a, as a brand new feature and it would you know 
be a bit of coding i guess but i think it would work so you can actually search for certain decorations that you want to see or certain buildings in your inventory or just just it would it would make the flow of the game a lot easier uh, similar to the you know the selection tool that they added i really like the selection tool and I, I was talking i talked about that before before it was added i was saying that they needed something that you know where you could group a design so you could actually group a design and move it if you wanted to move a design from one end of your town to another um <clears throat> without you know moving the decorations individually because it was just really tedious um and the search bar feature is the same thing i really want them to add a search bar feature so we can actually uh f the the flow of the gameplay would just be so much better and uh, you know you'd be able to design your town so much better because you could just navigate stuff really easily um so yeah the search bar feature is the bonus thing uh, and i've talked about it before and i just think out of all the features they could add like people probably say like oh cars on the road or like a weather feature or you know all this out of all of that i would always take a search bar over all of that stuff um because i just really want it in the game just just so i can you know um especially if, if you're redesigning your town um it, it would be uh, very helpful so anyway let's go on to your ideas so first of all we've got the gallifrey and lord uh, and he kind of and i know that we've already touched on a, in an earlier episode we touched on itchy and scratchy and all that so i've just kind of grouped a bunch of things but to be fair this one was different to the other one it wasn't it's just the characters the same so of course itchy and scratchy we've talked about itchy and scratchy before so let's move on but um <clears throat> costume is the emmy slash oscar grandpa i wasn't entirely sure what he meant what you meant by this gallifrey and lord uh, i've got i think i've got what you mean if i'm wrong please do tell me though um the decoration is the welcome to itching scratchy land signed thing and the bomb counter from uh itching scratchy island uh or land uh maybe bring back with the itching scratchy bots of course that were already in the game and lots of uh itching scratchy land possibilities uh so of course i've talked about itching scratchy if you go into my channel you can find my itching scratchy idea uh, itchy and scratchy like basically like a crusty land revival but we're using itchy and scratchy land um, i've talked about this before uh, so yeah, so of course itching scratchy. Uh, this is the thing I think you're talking about I'm not entirely sure though if this is it. Uh, I agree. It is a cool costume and I would you know it, It'd be one. I would I wouldn't I wouldn't I, you know I'm not, I'm not gonna say I really want it in the game, but I wouldn't argue if it was added It's a pretty cool costume. No as well. It's not cool, but you know what I mean. It's, it's just it's, it's just a um okay costume but uh and then here's the welcome to itching scratchy sign and uh, here's the bomb thing he was talking about um <clears throat> But like I said, there is way more stuff they can add into an Itchy and Scratchy event. Itchy and Scratchy Land event, of course. Uh, and I did a video on it ages ago, so if you go into my channel, uh, you should be able to find it. Uh, I try. I might. I probably won't link it, to be honest. Because <laughs> I've got to get this up quickly. But if you uh, do want to, uh, you should be able to find it a few minutes if you want to watch it. And then Isabel Roberts, again, with another comment. Uh, uh, Krusty Land District Expansion. So this is like basically a different expansion. So District 1 is the Blocko District. So this, of course, is going to be with the sorry with the fictional uh ver like simpsons version of lego uh, so i guess they could add uh, blocko land which um you know that would be a thing they could possibly add uh, with a lego bar district two is a parking lot district with itchy uh, uh district three is the parent district with poochie and it's uh, district four is the baby district with scratchy so of course these are all the different districts that are in um uh, I think Itchy and Scratchy Land. I'm not sure about the Blocker District. I don't think that's in Itchy and Scratchy Land, but uh, the other three are definitely in Itchy and Scratchy Land. Again, if you go look at my video on Itchy and Scratchy Land, you can see this stuff in detail. But essentially, Itchy and Scratchy, a Lego bar, which actually hasn't really appeared in the show, I don't think. Uh, so, and of course, there is, I think there might be issues with copyright with that anyway. I'm not sure though. And of course, Poochie. Uh, so yeah, and again, there's other stuff, and stuff, but they were districts, so I didn't really know what to put as pictures. But yeah, there's a bunch of buildings in those districts, and I, to be honest with you, with all the stuff that's mentioned, TapTap could honestly just make a bunch as well. Like, like I re what I really like, like with TapTap exclusives, I'm okay with them. Like, I'm not, I don't mind them. Like, I, I, I bitch about them a bit, and I do understand that. Uh, but things like I, I really regret kind of a uh, bitching about the scotland yard because that actually did appear technically in the show sort of the interior appeared and also the sign appeared um 
but they made it into an actual building, and I'm kind of actually okay with that. Uh, in the itching scratchy thing, they they reference a bunch of buildings. Now, one of my favorite buildings from last year is the uh, Haddock uh, Haddock District, where um, and no, Haddock Hammock District, sorry, uh, basically, which was mentioned in the show. It was like a gag in the show that Hank Scorpio said to Herman when he was looking for a hammock. He went, yeah, go to the Hammock District, and he listed a bunch of different um, stores. Uh, and they added it in the game and of course that never appeared in the show they purely made that for the the game uh, and the same with Asian Scratchy Land they, they reference a bunch of different rides and stuff and you can see it on like on the map you can see a bunch of different rides if they could honestly just make those rides like tap tap that is that is the kind of tap tap exclusives I really would like um, other ones I'm not so crazy on but those kind of ones I like uh, so it would be cool if they did that um, so yeah, that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, this one. So there's all those ideas uh, Yeah, please do comment more ideas make sure uh, please do comment them in in one of these videos Do don't comment and, and make sure it's the most recent things. I want to see uh, somebody did add I think it was red Shrek or whatever uh, Whatever the name is of um, I think it's red Shrek. Uh, some I think he or she added uh, put a comment in like a different video that wasn't a things I want to add uh, the only reason I ask to put them in things I want to add it's just easier for me to find the comments um, I don't worry I did get that comment red track uh, but just in future please do put them in the this one of these videos uh, it's just way way easier for me uh, it's not like it would be too hard but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm a lazy bastard, so make it easier on me, please. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I, um, yeah, I'll see you next video, goodbye.